The leaders of the coup in Niger have declared a national no-fly zone. The military claimed it feared a foreign power might be about to attack Niger. Le Conseil national pour la sauvegarde de la patrie informe l'opinion publique nationale et internationale que des informations concordantes actuellement en sa possession indiquent que des forces d'une puissance étrangère s'apprêtent à agresser le Niger et son peuple. On the 26th of July, members of the Niger armed forces staged a coup against President Mohamed Bazoum. The head of the coup, General Abdurrahman Chani, then proclaimed himself leader. The coup has been widely condemned, with the African Union, UN and EU all calling for the release of President Bazoum. The Economic Community of West African States, which represents many of Niger's neighbours, went further still and threatened military action if President Bazoum wasn't released, setting a deadline of Sunday night. That deadline has come and gone, and it does not appear any military intervention has yet occurred. But with that threat still looming, the military junta and Niger have shut down the nation's airspace for fear of possible air attacks in the coming days. With US and French military bases located in Niger, neighbours like Mali aligning themselves with Russia after their own military coups, and an enduring Islamist threat across the region, there are growing fears that the crisis in Niger could quickly escalate.